Yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's fun to be with these guys every day. I mean, not every day is a great day. We have, we've had some clunkers, but for the most part, it's been good. The guys are working real hard, and I think we're getting better. I hope we're getting better, uh, and uh, you know, getting closer and closer to game day. So we better be getting better. You can see a difference. You know, last year we were the third youngest team in the country. We were we started four freshmen and a sophomore. And those guys are a year older, and they're playing like they're a year older, but but they're still young. You know, we're still young. If you know, if anybody else were to come in and say, "Well, we we start four sophomores," you'd like you'd be say, you'd say, "Wow, that's a really young team." It's just that uh, you know, it's that weird thing where we're a year older, and it's the same guys that started last year. So, well, we hope it can be a real strength for us. We think Wanya Green and Antoine Mason are terrific backcourt, and you know, we're trying to sell them on the, the fact that this is kind of their team. You know, kind of, I had that conversation with them the, with, with them the other day. Boy, I'll tell you what, I mean, whatever league you're in is the toughest league in the country. You know, every coach will tell you, oh, we got the toughest league in the country. So, whatever league you're in is the toughest league in the country, but, you know, I think there's one team that I would certainly not mention right now, but there's one team that, that, that may struggle a little bit, but, but they will still win games. And I think there's one or two teams that are just a little bit better than everybody else. But after that, the other seven, it's just going to be a, it'll be a war every night. I mean, it's just, everybody's the same. If we can keep getting better every day, if we can get something out of the middle, you know, uh, we can we can uh, we can be a team that by the end of the by the end of the year we can be in the mix. Well, that's it. You, you have to have some sort of a presence in the middle. Um, you know, we have uh, probably a three-headed monster there. One of the problems is one of the guys is hurt right now, so that's gonna you know that's gonna be. Uh, uh, something we got to deal with. Hopefully he'll be back by the end of December. But, you know, then that's Devin White. He's kind of hurt right now. But, you know, Joe Thomas and Scooter Gillette, you know, those guys are going to have to, you know, rebound, defend, guard their area, and, uh, you know, make a difference for us. Well, you know, I, you're talking to a guy that spent most of his life in Philadelphia with the Big Five. So, and that's second to none. I can't, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I you know, I, w I would be, I would be, I would be lying if I said this, oh, this is just like Philadelphia. It's not. There's nothing like that. But it has gotten better. I mean, for a while there, not everybody played each other. You know, I don't think UB and St. Bonaventure played each other. So, to me, people say, what about the Big Four? I said, until everybody plays each other, and there's, then there's a Big Four. So I think we got that going. Things like this help. But, uh, you know, just in general, I think it's, uh, it's, an, underrated, it's an underrated thing, this, this, this Big Four. Because four good programs, four good college basketball rivalries, and something I hope everybody around here can appreciate.